Good morning. Today we're going to look at how to measure and record fluid intake. This is something that you will do with every meal as a CNA when you're working in long-term care. You'll do this a lot in hospital care in all different kinds of situations. So um, it's really a very simple process. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. Now, one of the things you have to remember in order to make this easy for us, um, most facilities, institutions have pretty standardized sizes of um, cups, mugs, bowls. So throughout the institution, those will be the same size. Now, this isn't necessarily perfectly to scale, but um, let's say this is a 10 ounce glass and this is a 6 ounce glass and here's our fill line. Most of these things uh, are manufactured actually to make it a little bit easier for us. Um, they have a design on the glass uh, ridges or something that tells us what the fill line is without being actually marked. Um, so that you do have a pretty standard reference. Now, when people are served their meal, they are always served a full uh, serving size. So when they get a four ounce glass on their tray, it has four ounces of fluid in it. It's filled to the same full mark um, as uh, four ounces and everything comes out of the serving kitchen as a full serving and so you pretty much know what your standard serving sizes are so this is an eight ounce coffee mug or tea okay now we have um, ounces here with our containers, but when we record, you are always going to record your amounts as milliliters on your recording sheet. So we have just a little bit of um, conversion to do. So let's just fill these things up and convert these to milliliters so that we have a good idea of what our 100% start is, okay? Because we always start with what was served. We have to have some kind of starting point for calculating what got inside them, okay? So our 100% is what was served coming out of the kitchen. And that is going to equal our 100%. Okay? So let's figure that out for these particular amounts. So if we have a 30 ml conversion factor, we're it, we can make this really easy. We're going to multiply by 3 and add a 0 to that number. So if I'm going to take 10 ounces over here and convert it to milliliters, I'm going to multiply 10 by 3, which gives me 30, and add a 0, because I'm really multiplying by 30. So 300 mLs is my conversion factor when this is all filled up as a 100% serving. Okay, so let's do six ounces. So here we have six times three equals 18. Add a zero and that gives us 180 mLs. Okay, so that's a full six ounce serving. 180 mLs. Okay, 
now four ounces. I think you're getting the drift of this. So you have four times three equals 12 and add a zero. So that's 120 mLs. And you will get very used to this. Once you've done this a few times, um, this will become very automatic to you and it won't be a problem. Okay, some of you already may be familiar with um, these equivalents and have been using them already. Um, so this really isn't like doing calculus. A lot of students worry, you know, when we say, oh, there's a little bit of math involved here. Okay, but you can do this. You can do this. E you can multiply a number by three and come out with the correct amount. So we have this coffee mug or tea or hot chocolate or apple cider. This time of year, apple cider is pretty good since it's getting to be winter. So eight ounces times three. This is all filled up. Okay. Eight times three equals 24. Add a zero and we get 240 mLs, okay? So that's basically what the person started with, fluid-wise, coming out of the kitchen, along with their solids, but we'll come back and do solids another time. Today, we're just gonna focus on liquids. All right, so let's add this up and find out what does our 100% equal. Okay, so we have 300 mLs plus 180, so that's going to give us 480 over here, okay, and then we have plus 120 to 40, that's going to give us 360, yes, yes. Okay, 360. So then we take 480 times 360 and 0, 14, carry the 1. Okay, so we have 0, 6 and 8 are 14, carry the 1. 4 and 3 is 7. And so our total, if my arithmetic is correct, is 480 mLs. Okay, that's our 100%. We know the person got that on their tray, on their meal tray. And so what we're going to do is compare everything to what they got served. Now, the only way that we can tell what they got inside them, what they drank, what their intake was, is we look at what was left behind on the tray. Did they drink all of this? Did they drink part of the container? Did they, you know, uh, drink none of it? Okay, because when we record, what we are going to write down is the approximate mLs that they took and the percentage of fluids that they got inside. So let's just do a benchmark figure here of um, what 50% would be if they drank half of this container. So if they drank half of their fluids, 50% is going to equal um, 420, correct? 420 mLs. Okay, so those are our reference points for when we come back and look at um, what was left in the container and then we figure out what they got inside them. So, um, and the other thing to, that's important to remember is that these are approximations. We don't have a measuring device at the table um, to pour stuff into and actually measure this. 
we are looking at a standard sized container that was full and we are making an observation and our best guess of what the person got inside. We do not have to be exact down to the milliliter with that measurement. We just have to get a close approximation and that is what we need. Okay, so I think you have the basic concept here. And what I'm gonna do is um, change the amounts in these cups as we go through different parts of this video and um, show you some other calculations as far as what a person might actually have taken in, okay? Remember, it's not really rocket science. You do not need a calculator to do this. You should not have a calculator with you in your workplace when you're in a patient care area because most calculators these days are on your cell phone. And we do not have cell phones that we take out and use um, in a patient care area. It's just not professional and not permitted. It should not happen. So you do not need a calculator to do this. Um, you can multiply by three and then add a zero and do your addition, okay? If you uh, use scrap paper, there's absolutely nothing wrong with using scrap paper. You don't have to do this in your head. Um, but it is very important to have an idea of whether people are getting adequate fluid intake or not throughout their day. So um, you can do this, all right? So I'm gonna stop and um, change um, what's in these containers and we'll come back and take a look at a couple other calculations, okay?